What do psychedelic mushrooms do in the brain? I'm Dr. Ben, and I promised you a series on the neuroscience of psilocybin, so let's get started. First question, what do psychedelic mushrooms make people feel, and how do scientists measure that? Yes, scientists have given people shrooms and asked them, what's happening? In addition to the very common visual imagery, many people report a blissful state, feelings of unity, disembodiment, and an altered meaning of the things that they're perceiving. Scientists actually have a scale for this called the Altered States of Consciousness Rating Scale with 94 questions, including things like, I felt like I was being transformed forever in a miraculous way. There is growing evidence that psilocybin could be an effective treatment for depression, but we're still not sure if the mystical experience is a necessary part of those benefits, or if psilocybin is just doing something biologically in the brain to create those benefits. Some studies show that people who have more intense mystical experiences show greater reductions in depression and anxiety after the experience. So, some neuroscientists argue that the subjective effects are necessary for the therapeutic benefits, while other neuroscientists say that the effects may not be necessary. So what do you think? Are the psychedelic effects of psilocybin necessary for the therapeutic benefits? Please weigh in if you have an opinion. In my next few videos, I'm going to talk about the evidence we have for psilocybin's benefits, how those trials are conducted, which is very interesting in itself, and finally, to wrap it all together, how psilocybin works in the brain. I'm very excited, so strap in and follow along if you want to watch the series.